Hey, what's up? I'm here, I'm back again, uh, sharing my MC tips for newcomers as well as existing MCs. I apologize in advance that it took me some time to even create uh, more videos. Uh, got a lot of uh, setbacks that I've got to be dealing with. Uh, but anyways, here I am again, uh, sharing you some of my personal tips. It's all based on uh, knowledge and experience again, as I mentioned. So yes, today we are going straight to the topic, which is tempo. Understanding a tempo is very important. And if you know, and if you analyzed how DJs usually work in preparing themselves is putting these songs together, not just putting them songs just by, you know, uh, stacking them one, two, three, four, but they have got to take the tempo of the song and put them together and arrange them correctly, accordingly, in order for them to build the night. So, for example, if the DJ is uh, preparing track listing from starting from 120 BPM up to 140, understanding the entire timeline is already prepared, then that's how the DJ is going to be playing the whole night. So the reason why I'm saying this to you is because MCs an influence not just for the crowd, but the DJ as well. If you have your own tempo, and if you don't follow the DJ's tempo, now obviously that's going to affect his game, his game plan in building the night. So you need to be in sync with the DJ. But if you are not a partner on a, on a regular basis with that particular DJ, if you are a guest MC or if you are a resident MC, but you're collaborating with a lot of DJs, for a matter of fact, so you need to understand, this is the technical part, the tempo. Understanding the tempo will allow you to collaborate with a lot of DJs, not just with one particular DJ. The issue that many MCs are facing these days is they're too used to having that one partner one partner as a dj so they just stick around with that particular dj so the improvement and the journey of that particular mc it's dependent on the dj and let's say if the dj decides to quit or it wants to put a pause to his career for a bit because of his personal matters or whatsoever then your career also is jeopardy in jeopardy so what happens is uh you, you you can't find the common uh, breakthrough with other DJs. So if you were to take this technical tip, as in the tempo, it will definitely help you in order to become a better MC in colla collaborating with a lot of DJs. Uh, let me give you a simple example. Uh, I'm sure you guys know stand-up comedians right stand-up comedians they have a similar characteristics with MCs. so when they go up on stage but before going up on stage of course they have already prepared uh, say for example a one hour script for them on what they want to joke about what what kind of topics they want to talk about and how they're gonna come in how they're gonna go out okay so they have already prepared that but to understand they are tempo if they don't have that punchline and the tempo, they will bore the crowd the whole night. So that is a reason a tempo is important. So let's say for example, a stand-up comedian is doing the first joke. After immediately the first joke, while the crowd is just laughing out so loud, he needs to come in immediately with another one to keep them, to keep building them, right? So you, you don't just make them laugh once and then you put them down and then they're just listening to you, whatever you're saying. So that, that is how it works in the club as well. Similarly to that, okay? A stand-up comedian has the time frame, has the punchline, has the tempo to how to build the crowd, make sure they have a great night. Similarly, the MC goes up on stage when you party for the crowd you have got to have that tempo in order for you to build a night. So your tempo is dependent on the DJ. The reason behind the DJ is the primary, the MC is the secondary. Okay. So when a DJ is playing, maintain to that DJ's tempo and build along with the DJ. 
let's say for example if the DJ is already building between 128 to 132 but you are still maintaining at the 120 BPM where he started now that will influence not just the DJ most importantly it will trigger the crowds party mood so your idea of hyping the crowd it's also dependent on the way you throw your punchlines even if it's a simple everyone what's up is everybody feeling good you know even the smallest uh, shorter sentence like this if you don't do it with the right tempo it will affect the crowd's mood so please focus on your tempo and you will definitely do better and most importantly you don't have to be sitting down just with one dj in fact you can be traveling to places doing a lot of gigs with a lot of lots of lots of djs as long as you know if you can master this tempo technique then you will be a better MC. thank you for watching i will see you next on more topics in regards to how to be a better MC in the club peace